in today's video, for the first time, I'm doing a review on a software which is called JS Placement. I'm going to put a link in the description below so you can download it if you like the software after the review. Now, this is simple. The software is just an 8K displacement map generator. Let's open it to see all that I'm talking about. It has a very nice and simple user interface if you want to get into using it and that would be very great. Now when you open JS placement for the first time you still see this, you get a main screen that takes you back here, you get your, so these are the displacement maps, you have JS placement classic which gives you this, you have JS placement 2 which gives you this. We have JS placement velvet, which also gives you this. Now, this all depends on what you prefer, the kind of displacement you want to have. Wire. Wire is very cool. You have your layer count over here, your wires per layer. You have to click before you actually see what you're looking for. So these. These wires uh, are what you are going to generate as the displacement maps. So the layer count will only give you that, will increase the amount of layers over here, you see? So bringing it down reduces the amount of layers you get of the wires. And they are all up the certain that you can take over here to get what you prefer. Let's look at the dark grid. Dark grids are simple. So you can control. The grids, the cycle ones, the kites, one looks like kites, squares, you can control them, their scale, how big they are, exactly, the, br the brightness, yeah, okay, so now let's see what JS placement is all about, let's go read what they have for us, JS placement is a pseudo random 8k displacement map generator made with javascript on electron. It generates grayscale height maps that can be used for displacement, well, and many other things in various 3D packages and renders. It's as simple as that. JS placement helps you generate grayscale height maps that can be used for displacement in 3D packages, like Blender. I use Blender. Maya will work. Cinema 4D will also work perfectly. All the other 3D packages and 2D packages will work perfectly. Okay, so now let's go back to the the choices we have over right here. Okay, let's let's go to the digital guide first. In the digital guide here, we have the generator settings. It tells you all that can be done when you use classic, when you use JS placement classic, and you go back when you use JS placement two. It tells you all that can be done. Velvet wire dark grid. Let's look at additional features. Adding custom gradients can be done in several ways. Okay, the first way is to create a 256 by 256 image with a left to right gradient of your choice. This can be done in various applications such as Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator. That's cool. Affinity Photo and Designer, GIMP, Inkscape, a lot more, etc. Okay, dark grid. Okay, I have to go out there already. So let's close this guide. Uh, so we open something like this with one classic. Slide the classic. No, let me, let me show you with the two. This was one two. I think that's one of my favorites when I'm trying to yeah. When I'm trying to make displacement maps. See as it is now. So all these grayish looking uh, this placement over here, it actually looks flat over here, but when, if you know how to use this placement maps in 3D software, you get what you want. Now when you want to use this, when you come to, uh, uh, let me see, am I doing something over here? Toggle color. So the, this gives you the color that you want to use. So when I choose this, you can get a greenish looking color. 
So when you get this and that is what you want, all you have to do is to come to save color. Then it opens, it opens a window that tells you where to save it. Okay. So I I have a place where I save all these things. New volume. Uh JS placements. So this is the, these are the previous ones that I have had created. So there's it. You see it, it has named itself perfectly. JS to blah blah seamless color. Then you click on save. When you want to save the height, it's the same process. There's it. When you, when you want to save normals, then that's it. As simple as that. JS placement is very easy to use so I encourage you all to go check it out I think that'll be all we have nothing else to cover okay the settings mm, some people like light interface I prefer dark I like it that way I feel it's cool the light is too bright sometimes so Okay, so that's it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel for more amazing content, thanks for watching.